bad. <laughs> we broke it. We usually break more than one thing. Oh, okay. All right. So, silver lining. What's up, everybody? Today on Cars and Cameras, it's finally time that we're taking our Triumph 955cc triple dragster out for its maiden voyage. Remember, this is a dual purpose rear engine drag rail. So we're thinking sand, dirt, and asphalt. So I guess triple purpose. We have a lot of finishing touches to do in today's episode. We need ducts so our oil cooler and radiator can have airflow. We need to cut off our old side pods, we're gonna, which are gonna save us about 15 pounds. We need brakes, we need a sprocket, which Charles is working on right now. Uh, we need to tidy up some wiring, just a lot of here and there things so it doesn't immediately fly apart once we put this thing on the dirt. But it should be happening today. So let's check in with Charles, see what he's up to with the sprocket. So I'm robbing a rear sprocket off this CB750 reverse trike that Ike and I built. If you haven't seen it, check out the video. But we needed a different size sprocket with like a different bolt pattern in the center because of the hub. We want to be able to like modify it and put two and two together or one and one and one together either way. But this is quite the contraption. As you can see, I've got the engine hoist because it's not the normal way of picking up a bike, I guess. It is definitely for the best of that this project is getting parted out because Ike flipped it not once, but twice in the span of one afternoon. So we're robbing that sprocket right there. And it should be pretty close for our super hub. So something I just learned is it turns out it's argued that the, the old Honda CB750 is the first super bike ever made. Really? Like it invented the super bike. I didn't know that. Yeah. So to think that like three years ago, we were chopping these things up left and right for our cross cart. And well, I guess even now we're chopping it up, but it was cut before we got to it. <laughs> it's a little sad, but it's, I don't know. It's a cool piece of trivia that we basically had the first ever super bike engine in our cross cart. There you Ooh. go. It's nasty. Oh, it smells. <laughs> Maybe. Don't tell me something else, has it? Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh! Oh, you broke the brake, oh. Come on, we were going to use that. They were good until I broke it. <laughs> You're about to find the structural limit of a die-hard ratchet, sir. Somebody called Bruce Willis. <laughs> it didn't do that a second ago. You saw me do that. All right. I mean, it looks like there's still some life yeah. on that sprocket. Absolutely. Enough to figure out if our gearing is close yep. or not. Charles did a fantastic job with the Dremel on our CB750 sprocket. Uh, just getting it to go on our hub there. So we're just going to mark and drill these holes, and that'll be done. Now for the brake. You can pick up these uh, sprocket hubs at Tractor Supply. They got really pricey. Like this one's like probably 28 bucks now. Uh, and here is the brake rotor from our Honda 919. All I need to do is go over to our Crossfire Pro and cut out a five inch OD to a two inch ID. Basically uh, adapter, very similar to this. So let's go check out, check it out. All right, it's just a super simple fixture. It's loaded up in fire control. Let's press start.
I've been kind of working working behind the scenes. We haven't really, uh, you guys, this this might be new. The chain tensioner might be new to y'all. Uh, we've got a real heavy duty. I guess this is a 530 chain for this bad boy because motorcycle we, chain. Yeah, motorcycle chain because we don't want to. We didn't want to like step the gearing down on the motor, so we just use the heavy duty stuff. Uh, and you can see heavy duty chain bracket with a uh, bearing skateboard wheel as our tensioner. And it's, <coughs> excuse me, allergies got me. Yeah. <coughs> it's slotted for adjustment. And then I drilled holes so we can remove this motor mount back here, motor right. mount bolt. Yeah. Uh, I just need to tack it in, I guess, like put some tension on it and tack it up top. Now that you're done plumbing the fuel stuff and we've we've aired the shop out and we got our fire extinguisher just in case so i'm going to give this thing a tack uh cut the chain and put the master link in and hopefully we can roll this drivetrain over and see how it looks yeah this is lo this is looking pretty good yeah, man that's definitely one step closer uh Definitely. Seeing this thing rolling. Oh, under its dude, own power. we're getting so close. Yep. Uh, you also worked on the shifter. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I the forgot shift to linkage. It's functional. I wouldn't going call in. it purdy. Uh, yeah. It starts really good back here, and then it looks <laughs> kind of janky up front. But it, it goes through every gear, and it's yeah. it's where you're sitting there with the steering wheel, and you go this far, and you can go in, you know. And you're, it's that much of a motion from steering wheel to shifter. Yeah. And there's not much room in there. there it's roomy, but there's, there's not, not a lot to work yeah. with. And we did it. So if we don't like it, and hey, and we finally have a shifter on the left side for us lefties, yeah. John and I. So yeah. So yeah, we're getting we're getting close. Uh, so go ahead and start welding, bud. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Looking good, bud. This is an O-ring chain. Yes, sir. So this is. It's a good heavy duty chain. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. Y'all might think that a roller skate wheel is not gonna hold up, but if you think about it, uh, up here is where the the pull is with the motor. There's not going to be any pull on that wheel. The only time you get a lot of pull on that wheel is if you're decelerating, like downshifting, and yep. we're not going to be downshifting. No, we're going to be pushing the clutch in and just... Yes, knocking yeah. in neutral or whatever. Yeah, that's, so, that would probably be our safe bet. Yeah. Wow, the O-ring is... Uh, it's tight. I, I think yeah. I might have to put the camera down and hit give you a hand. Me, I'm working on, you know... The, the wiring and stuff, it's a lot to deal with. Uh, it's not just hooking stuff up. It's routing, fastening, and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm still buttoning all that stuff up. Uh, we are getting real close for a test drive on this. Uh, we're working real hard on it, and it, it it's irritating because it doesn't look like we're doing anything. But we are super busy on this and uh it's just looking better and better like i just got through mounting uh the fuel pressure regulator i made a bracket right here and uh just kind of put it kind of out of the way but where we can see the fuel pressure when we and i think we're gonna to make it. a scoop that's gonna be oh yeah that's here. right so that's going to be so, covered yeah. from the tire. Yeah, we're going to make a little scoop here for our little oil cooler. And the scoop will help shield the uh, the pressure gauge from any rocks that the tire kicks up. So uh, John, he is on his way back. He uh, took a little road trip for... Uh, Grabbing some parts for another project that we're working on. Top secret project. I mean, I can't tell y'all what it is. So, uh, anyhow, uh, I'm hoping John will notice that there's some differences on this thing. He probably won't, though. The it's only, the only thing that's, like, visually different, big deal, is that the chain is one The chain piece. and sprocket, yeah. yeah. So. 
But we're getting there. We're getting there. So uh, maybe maybe the next shot we'll have this thing. Maybe something else to undo it. I don't yeah. know. I've got the wiring uh, hooked up on the charging system. We've never had a charging system on this thing. Uh, so I've got the wires hooked up. Uh, Charles, can you do the honors and try to crank it up? And All right. We'll see. Key on. Yeah. We'll clutch in just in case. Yeah. Sounds really good. Oh yeah, it just keeps getting better and better. Yeah, dude. it's at that point where it's just gonna start. Yeah, it's just getting better and better. Yeah. So uh, the gearing almost looked right. I don't. Okay. We're not gonna know until we. Uh, so we test it. Until we test it out. So awesome. I'm so glad. Now I can, since I know that the charging system works, I can kind of tuck that yeah. wiring yeah, up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we get rid of these wire nuts. Yeah, yeah, I, that was just temporary. Yeah, temporary, <laughs> temporary. <laughs> kind of coming up with what we think it's going to weigh. We're doing our little, you know, shake the jar, look at it, see how many items are in there kind of thing. Oh, boy. I think I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> All right, so we got this thing all together now. I'm sure there's a loose bolt here or in there somewhere, uh, but uh, we're gonna uh, take this thing out for a spin. But first, I would really like to know how much this thing weighs. So yeah, I'm uh, curious. Yeah, we're just kind of been like picking up. Yeah, that's that's pretty heavy. Uh, all right, ready? Don't hurt yourself, bud. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. God. All right. All right. I chunked it. <laughs> yeah, don't hurt yourself. All right, since uh, Charles couldn't lift the back, huh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that this probably about 550 pounds. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say 599. I hope it's not that much, but I'm trying to win this. I'm going to be optimistic, 450. 450, Bob. I'm hoping you win. One dollar. But this is this is pretty heavy. Yeah, it's pretty. It heavy. surprised me, but you know, we we had to add all this extra weight to make it the, safe. The heaviness on the rear is probably good for traction. Yeah, these yeah. tires are not light. These are steel, you like utility ATV rims. So we're hoping to go with maybe aluminum or something. I don't. I don't we'll know. Find out. I'm I'm thinking that these tires might not be aggressive enough for mm -hmm. what we've got here. So it might be doing a lot of spinning. Yeah, so make sure the back doesn't trade places with the front. I'd be a little hard to do, but let's find out. Charles? Oh, wow. Jack makes light work. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What'd I say? 550? Yeah. It's 530. 540. 540. Good job, Mike. 540 pounds. But that's... Holy cow, that thing's heavy. Let's see what it does when I get in. Ah. Hopefully it didn't change the front too much. It's she, heavy. She, she's pretty heavy. She is real heavy. Uh, but I don't care how heavy it is as long as it handles great. Yep. So... Uh, how much does a bike weigh? Uh, the bike that this thing came off of probably weighed like... 400 pounds. Close to 500 pounds. I don't know. Maybe we need to look that up, but still. Yeah. It's not Anyhow, too bad. Y'all ready to uh, push this thing out? Oh, I've been ready. Yeah. So, we just confirmed that this rail is heavier than the 670 Dragster, but it makes a lot more horsepower, and we built it with stability, safety, in mind but weight also isn't everything so we're gonna hop on right now kind of put it around maybe get in a good launch or two and pull it back in and uh 
check things over, and then we might put it up against one of our quick mini bikes before the end of the episode. So let's do it. We don't even know if we got the gearing right yet. Right. This is oh just a, this is a shakedown. Very first shakedown. Yep. So. All Charles. Right. Okay. He's been year. talking about wanting to do this. So. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I got my own fire extinguisher with me. <laughs> nice. A astronauts don't have to push the space shuttle out, so <laughs> get to uh, it. Get to it. Where, which which direction? I guess that. Yeah, I think. First test drive, 955 rail. Do not spin tires. No. What? What? Oh, no. Golly. All right. So, I'm probably going to stall it. All right, so you make cut it on. Fan on too. Hey. Just all turn right. on all the buttons. All right. Let's see. Put the clutch in and it died. I'm not good at man. Yeah, it's sketchy. First time? <laughs> first time is always sketchy, dude. The first time is always sketchy. Yeah, the, um, it being solid all the way around, every bump you hit the gas. Yeah. So. Well, someone's got to rip it, Ike. I'll rip it. All right, rip it, buddy. Yeah. It doesn't stop. That's a good thing to know. It doesn't stop at all, so I'm. that's why I'm not ripping it. Doesn't want to stop. Clutch pedals to the floor and it's in, it's uh, not stopping. I told you. Did, yeah, but it, it's still going though. Oh. 
like something came loose. What's happening back there? Uh, it's stuck out. I got the clutch all the way to the floor. Well, okay. And the, the lever and is I no longer the returning. lever is pointing straight at you. Yeah, the lever's no longer returning. All right. So, do we break our clutch? Um, I don't know. Guess we gotta open it up. Uh, can you get the pliers and kind of? Yeah, he's pliersing it. Oh, that. Uh -oh. oh, that doesn't sound good. I think I think we broke something. Uh, it looks like it's in the original position now, or does it need to go farther, Charles? I pushed there was no resistance. Yeah, yeah, you have no resistance. Did you go the wrong way? No. That's the correct way. This is how it was, because it's pointing right at the thing like I meant. There's no spring tension. Right. There's. It just goes straight to the floor. Oh, something broke. Yeah, exactly. Why is it always me that breaks stuff? Because, you know, you were the one that was like, I'll hit it. All right, I guess I need to go turn this thing around. Looked pretty fast. Oh yeah, it felt like it was doing pretty good, especially in the higher RPMs. Yeah. That's when it really started wanting to do something. Cool. Sweet. Yeah. It was shooting the rooster tail, that's for sure. I was about to hit second with it. Oh, well, man. from here I was gonna Woo! go first and I was gonna hit second. <laughs> yeah. Watch yourselves. Yep. You need some help? Give her a push, Charles. Ready? Yeah. Marcus, set, go. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, okay. <laughs> I'm just worried what we broke. Yeah, Do me you, too. I'm wondering if we pulled the clutch lever too far. That's, yeah, probably. I mean, I made, I made the mechanism, but... We never had it on the bike, so we don't know how far we are no, supposed to travel to begin with. I guess if we could fix it, we'll put a stop wherever its max position is because I think we've maxed it out. feels pretty fast good um, especially are in the higher RPMs like a uh, it really do something if you were to rev it up and dump the clutch like when you roll on it it's like the it's like okay this isn't so bad and all of a sudden it's like yeah yeah uh, so yeah I started uh, to feel that out here yes I, just, I got out of the it, higher so. RPMs. so we got to figure out what's up with that clutch I gotta say this thing felt really good, especially in the higher RPMs. I think we got the gearing spot on, guys. How did we figure that out? I don't know. Guesstimation. Yeah, just a guess. Uh, but yeah, we gotta figure out what's going on with the uh, clutch. Uh, we might have gone a little bit too far with the lever arm, and it might have either got gotten past something or broke something. So we're gonna have to pull that side cover off and see what's going on. Test, not bad. <laughs> we broke it. We usually break more than one thing. Oh, okay. All right. So, silver lining. So it's about time to diagnose the rail to figure out what broke on the clutch, but we have to tell you that there are a few weeks left to enter our Tillotson 212 and Stage 1.5 kit giveaway. So every order placed on our website, cars-cameras.com, will get you automatically entered to win the best 212cc engine on the market with the brand new Stage 1.5 kit from gopowersports.com. You can read the full rules, terms and conditions on the website, but basically it's a great way to pick up some quality merchandise like our classic uh, It'll Be Fine pocket tee or some of our brand new Mini Mayhem 
merch. We have a Flex Fit Mini Mayhem embroidered hat. Um, so pick that up. It's a great way to support cars and cameras, get some high quality merchandise, and get entered to win a sweet engine and performance kit as well. Also, Pate Swap Meet is coming up April 27th, 28th, and 29th of 2023. I'll link it in the video description so you can come check it out. But basically, we're going to be at the Go Power Sports booth uh, seeing all the insane stuff there is to see at the Pate Swap Meet as usual. Come out and say hi, April 27th, 28th, and 29th, and hang out with us. Anyway, let's get back to this dragster and figure out what broke. Here's our clutch mechanism. This is what it's supposed to do, and we have hyperextended it almost to where it is straight. So we're worried we've broken something off the end of this. So we're gonna pull this first inspection cover off, see what's going on. If we have to, we'll pull this one off. Yep, and you're not supposed to be able to do that with your finger like that. No, yeah, I was just wondering that. That's, yeah. I don't see nothing. Oh. Why did they do Is that? Is that just a cover? Yep. Are you serious? Great first test drive. Yep. In about five minutes, we're going to wish we'd used a Honda. <laughs> oh, in the bucket. <laughs> Dang, you got to take the starter drive off. Yep. You gotta take the starter off, I think. Because this, the, the... Told you five minutes. I think change it to two minutes would have been more accurate. I'm... Dang it. <laughs> All right. Oh, Looking, dear. Oh, oh there's some dear. gears in there. There's a oh, wall in there. Oh, dear. And there's a spacer that you definitely want to put back in the right spot. Oh, goodness. Good thing I'm doing this, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, oh, that moves. Okay. Stop moving it. It's milky. Looks oh. like this cover has to come off, too. <gasps> Are you serious? I'm not liking that. Because I see a lot of stuff back there. Oh, God. All right. Dang it. So the bolt, look, the bolt that we're after. It's like right? Is right, is right, at, right at the tip of my finger. Yep. Down in there and basically right behind the wall right here. We got... To Take the whole engine apart to get that one bolt. Okay. Um, I've got the bolt out loose. It won't come out. But I'm hoping the cover will come off. It ain't going to come off, is it? it? It will. It will? Uh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's sweet. We just... So whoever what, whoever what does whoever designed this chassis did it perfect. So what broke? Oh, we broke the Oh. I know what I know what broke. We broke that. It sure did. It, oh. lo it looks like it's damaged anyways. Man. Here, turn it over, it'll fall out. Okay. And some metal came out with it, so Yeah. It's it was damaged. No, it actually looks okay, but it that looks it bad in here. Oh my goodness, Is that bad? That's mangled in there. Okay, like I don't All think right. it's gonna come out. It's so bad. All right, so it looks like just replacing a couple of parts, John. Okay. So we'll be looking into the parts next. So. Uh, that piece right there, which is part of that piece, and uh, the lever right there. So, all right, I'm gonna break out and Google some parts. Cool. So we figured out what happened, how it works, and let me just plead my case. I'm pretty sure that this thing was having a problem already, and we just finished it off, because it looks like there's a lot of damage in here that happened not as a, a few test passes, uh, but over a long period of time. I think what we have here is a worn out piece that just, well, it broke on us. So what it is, is there's a, like a mushroom head. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> We've got 
this piece here, that is in the foot out of the clutch position, and this is foot on the clutch. And we have a lot of, a lot of spots in there. Ab looks like abnormal wear. And it doesn't look like this is from just how many how many passes did we make four or five six? you guys probably hit the clutch like two dozen times yeah that does not look like a uh, foot action two dozen times oh. so when this lever right here actuates it's got something that kind of looks like a little fork in here and it grabs like a m something shaped like a mushroom on the clutch assembly on the engine and it pulls out on the clutch basket, releasing the clutches. And that's what we broke. We broke the release mechanism. Hopefully it's not an exp expensive fix. I'm going to be Googling for parts here in a minute, and we're going to see how bad we messed up. Well, we put the rail in storage, at least until all of our parts come in. I forgot, we totally didn't even address the fact that Charles lit the seat on fire. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna need a new seat pad it's a little holy now but i'm glad it wasn't any worse yeah i mean it, it at least it was on camera right yeah <laughs> so i'd say considering the weight of this dragster uh it looks pretty darn fast so we're waiting for parts to get in so we can fix the clutch and we can hit it again and take it out to the uh take it out to the track so uh be sure come out to paint swap meet april 27th 28th 29th we have a special build we're building just for paint swap meet if we, we can get, get it we done in time, it's coming up fast. Thank you all for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you're enjoying the dragster content. I think the inline three sounds sweet. We'll see you next time.